What is going on guys, Greggles TV. I have Brandon from Be The Installer. Brandon, how's it going? What's up, man? I'm good. Dude, we're gonna install and set up this monstrous 98 inch TCL television. I cannot wait. They sent this over to me. Super stoked. You have this TV. I saw your video. You said you love it, so I better love it, dude. You, you're gonna like it. And, and the thing is, he messaged me questioning what mount and all these things to do to use, and I was a little concerned. I, you know, it's one thing to you know to tell someone what they should use, but then to be like, "Yo, just do it yourself." <laughs> so I'm like, "Let's, I'll come down and I'll help you out, man. No problem." And this is not my expertise, so I'm, yeah. I, I didn't even ask him. Like I said, he, he like he told you, he's like he volunteered his time and yeah. energy and all this. Cannot wait to set this up. But we're gonna set it up over here. Come over here real quick. We're gonna set it up on this wall. And you said you said it's a pretty good wall, a good size wall for it. Everything's good. What did you? I did ask you earlier about the cable management, what, did you, what do you think is the best way to handle that if yeah. we end up going that route to manage it? Well, for, I think this is gonna be a great wall. You're gonna, this TV is gonna look awesome in here. You're gonna be like, I have a movie theater now. <laughs> it's awesome. And yeah, to, to get rid of the cords, I mean like, you really don't wanna see cords just for like a foot or two here, you know? So we'll throw a couple HDMI cords in, run the power up, make it look clean. And that way you got nothing between, you know, your TV and the nice entertainment center below. So it looks nice and clean in the house. That's awesome. Yes. So there you go, man. And then one other thing. So we have the, the blue tape here. Oh yeah. This is kind of me and my buddy marked this off. We, we took the measurements cause it's 85 by 50 or something like that. Um, that's as far right as we want to go because the living area, it will be centered with that. And then it won't be so far over that we can still have the TV be mounted and not have someone hit their head or bounce some that way. Yeah, I think it's good as long as you have a plan, man. A lot of people ask me and then I'm like, I don't know, man, <laughs> do what you want. But I, I like that idea. Doing it centered over on the wall, completely centered, would probably push it too far in the corner and then you wouldn't be like in your living area. It wouldn't be as viewable. So I like it over here. So I'm gonna show you guys the setup and installation of this, but he's also gonna have his own video on it. So check out Brandon's video at Be The Installer. I'll link it down below so you don't even have to think about it. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's do this. it, man. Real quick, the TCL 98 inch S5 4K television is on sale for Black Friday from now, again, until Black Friday for only $29.99. Link down below. Dude, what are we doing here? <laughs> We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna unbox the TV. We're gonna, we gotta unbox the TV and we have to unbox the mount so we can put the brackets on and see how all that lines up because it, it does us no good to have, you know, we don't have measurements. We gotta figure out where things go before we can go to the wall, you know? I love it. Do you need help? Standard issue. No, I'm pretty good at unboxing big TVs. I mean, generally. This is like having Best Buy here, I love yeah. it. Yeah, well, not me. <laughs> all right, so I'm good? You're good, go. All right. We got the legs right here, but we're not gonna use them. Now the cool thing is about these is they, they go on a little bit more inside the TV and they're not like, the other ones for the older TVs are way bigger, so a little smaller, a little easier. Remote, batteries, we'll do one up. We'll show it later, right? We call that the goodie bag. <laughs> goody goodies. <laughs> That's something good to mention is that Visa pattern is 500 by 600. It's, I had a difficult time finding one that fits it. So we're gonna what, kind of Jerry rig it, Jimmy rig it? No, 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 it's good. It, the one that we got is good. Okay, so, I'll link the one I have down below. It's yeah. a human centric one. It's one he advised me to get, so I'll link it down below, but he's saying it should work. I, I, I was like, this is the point where I should come help you because I was like, he asked me if this pattern will definitely fit. And it wasn't that I wasn't certain we could make it fit, but sometimes you have to like, drill a hole out to make it fit a little bit better if the vertical brackets don't. But I, I believe that this human centric mount that I recommended will be fine. Yeah. And it's just the distance this way, you just slide the brackets in on the mount. So it's fine. Okay. I just wanna add a little context into this next thing that I say. When I'm talking about it being ghetto and it missing parts, it was the mount that was missing parts, not the television. The television was completely fine. The mount was the issue, but 
it's fine at the end too. That's ghetto. Uh, that's why I Give me like 10 grand to do a, like a robo back back like thing and then I can show it cleaning up the mess that happens when you unbox Whoa. This is pretty bad. Okay, so what's up with the bolts that are inside here? These bolts are normally just placeholders. Uh -huh. They're never really long enough, but okay. they're M8 bolts and we have with the TV mount a bunch of different M8, M8, M8. And then you have spacers and washers. So you just kind of use a combination of the spacers and washers to make it so that when you screw it in, it's tight. Cause you don't want to like screw it in all the way and it's still loose and the brackets are all flopping around. Oh yeah, look at that. That barely fits flat. These are, yeah, that's it. You don't have adjustability up and down. I thought the 500 was vertically, so you have a little bit of space going up and down. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. It just means that if you want it to raise or lower, that means you have to raise or lower the bracket on the wall. So we should get this right. Okay. So the person that told you that this wouldn't fit, by the way, yeah, just customer service, but they don't really know how these mounts work. You know? That's good to know. I mean, it's good that they try to advise you that it, it would be right. Say it would when they don't know. But the distance left or right, see, it just sits on this right here. So we have, you know, varying distances. Okay. This is a thousand millimeters wide, but it can go anywhere in here. So this, the 500 will be like right here. So it'll fit. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's good to know. Secured. Very nice. And this is where he's kind of doing the measurements of where the TV is going to go. And he was working his way up to making the measurements against the wall of where everything's going to be and where all the beams are inside the wall. And he ultimately is cutting a hole in the wall too in order to get the electricity fed in from the bottom up to the top so everything's much neater. And not even only the electricity, but also the wires themselves, just so everything's hidden. So basically what we decided here was that because the TV's so big, I recommended moving it a little bit to the right just because that's how the stud alignment worked too. So we needed to move it to the right and now our perimeter is like here, the edge of the TV. And because there was studs here and studs there and everywhere else in here, the best spot for us to draw electrical was between this stud and this stud. So what I had to do is cut holes. We made a big hole up here, a smaller hole there, and then we uh, ran the electrical through the stud and up here to this uh, power outlet. And then we were able to put in these HDMIs. Now, they're a little shorter than we want, but you bought four new ones. So we're gonna just use these to pull new ones in later, which is pretty straightforward. And that way he'll have like 15 foot cords up here. And then we just put on this nice brush plate here so it looks clean and the cover plates and we're all powered up and ready to go, man. And then here's me helping hold them out as he bolts everything into the wall. It's also showing how much weight this mount can hold. He said he weighed 190 pounds and the thing did not budge. And this TV weighs about 120 pounds, 124 with the stand. And I gotta admit, I was a little worried about carrying it, but actually wasn't too bad. I, with two people, it's definitely doable and I didn't really feel like I was straining all that much. And I had to leave the house one more time and Brandon was kind enough to peel all the plastic bits off of the television for me. And that was pretty much it. I began to use it. I uh, messed with a couple of the settings, which I will do a walkthrough of the television. So I'll show you some of the settings that I set in a separate video, but this was really just getting it set up, installed and plugged in and everything wired. So again, go to Brandon's channel, subscribe to his channel. Um, it was, he did amazing work for me. I'm so happy with what he did. It looks awesome. The television looks amazing. I am loving this television. Again, I'll show you way more. I'll do a full review. But in the meantime, if you want to pick it up, it's linked down below. Thanks for watching. Also go over to Brandon's channel, subscribe, tell him I sent you. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.